Hey there everybody, DestroyRex here and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. We're on part 16, we are still playing as Amy Rose, and we are now in the Hot Shelter. This is a place that only one of three characters can get to in the game, and Amy is one of them. Isn't that wonderful? Whenever you get to those cranks, that what you want to do is stand next to the crank, hold down the action button, and turn the rotate the control stick to actually open the door. But we're still being chased by Zero, unfortunately. Despite the fact that we are on board the egg carrier, there are Eggman robots all over the place. Mm, well, at the same time, I guess. Well, considering the fact that we've escaped from our cell thanks to E-102 Gamma... Well... We're not where we're supposed to be, according to Eggman. We're, and Zero is trying to capture my Amy and the Flicky so that way we can be returned to our cell. Be the switch. Oh yes, that's the emergency drainage switch. Hit the emergency drainage switch and... Well... Water is going to start filling up in the chamber. What you want to do is hop on that, and then hop there. And it says left one, right three. What does that means? It's just you crank the crank to the left once and to the right three times. Open the door. So not too bad so far. Yeah, not too bad. What can I say? I mean, everything's pretty simplistic so far. I thought I could hit that, but I can't. However, we're still trying to evade zero. That's not good. That is not good at all. Of course, there's not much we can do. I mean, Zero's going to be chasing us throughout the entire level. We can still hit him with our Pico 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 hammer to dis disable him for a few moments, but he'll eventually get back up again. Sometimes, if you can hit him in a sweet spot, or you can get him into a sweet spot, you can get him off screen. Um, the ladder right there, just push the ladder to the left to get to that door, that little, you know, opening right there. You're home free to go into the next section of the hot shelter. However, it's not home, we're not home free yet because we're inside the bathroom and Zero is still chasing us. He should be popping out any minute now. Any second. Well, at least Zero had the decency to wait until we were out of the bathroom before he decided to chase us again. So he is a somewhat polite robot, I guess. Sure, why not? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh uh, yeah, um, for some reason or another, um... Well, actually, I don't die right here, but I do end up dying in the hot shelter for a very stupid reason. I mean, I don't know. I, as I say it, as I said in the playthrough, quite a, uh, throughout the last play, that sometimes I just really, really suck. There's not really much I can do about it. Well, actually, I could get better. Maybe do practice runs before I actually do the LP. Oh yeah, what you want to do is go up to this gear. Hit that switch right there, that turns the gears in the opposite direction of which they were turning, and you just go up the other gear and you'll be home free. If I can actually get up there at least. Uh, so far so good, I mean, zero, zero is nowhere near us right now. All we have to do is avoid these spike balls. Avoid those monkey robots, which I don't know the names of them, and I am not going to look up the names because I don't feel like it. Oh, yes. And this lovely little thing, what you want to do is carefully, carefully make your way over to the switch. What? Something happens the moment you hit that switch. If you hit the switch, the whole platform, the whole platform rotates around. So that's not too bad, except I hit the switch again, which I did not mean to do, so it went back to its default position. So I hit the switch again to get it to where I want it to go. Not bad, not bad. So far, so good. 
Now, remember to Call's warning. Be careful not to fall off. And what happens to me right here? Well, um, I fall off. And I died. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Which brings us all the way back over here, but... Oh, that's what save points are for. It prevents us from having to start all over from the beginning. Oh, uh, yes, so... I lost all those rings that I had. I'm... I'm gonna go ha But, it's okay. It's not like Amy Rose's playthrough is hard. Of course, I get hit right there, so... Maybe it is hard. Maybe I just suck. Maybe I just need to get better. Do practice runs. I should have done a practice one. A practice run, but oh well. It doesn't matter. It's not like I'm gonna get a game over. <laughs> that, I know for a fact that does not happen in my LPs at all. Yes, I have actually recorded all the rest of the videos. I've recorded the rest of Amy Rose's playthrough. I've recorded E102 Gamma's playthrough. And here comes Zero. And I've actually recorded Big the Cat's playthrough. So those are all recorded. I've even recorded the final play the final playthrough of the game, which I'm sure many people already know who it is, but I'm gonna leave it silent. Let move the handle and the lift should move. Not too hard. Just use the crank. Yay. Isn't that fun? Um, so yes, Sonic Adventure is completely recorded now, so I will... I'm hoping to have the rest of the videos out pretty soon. I don't know when, I just hope to have them out pretty soon. Uh, what else? Um, trying to think, trying to think. Oh yes, these cubes right here, I'm getting back to the plot. You want to actually put those cubes over where the color cubes and their corresponding colors on the floor. And the cubes will kind of navigate to the to the slots, and from there you're all good to go. Oh no, it's zero. <laughs> Yay, I got you, zero. Haha, <laughs> take that. Zero's incredibly persistent. I have to give that to him. Or it. But oh well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This, this isn't too bad. I mean, a lot of the reasons why I'm I'm not having a good... I'm, I could be better. I mean, I should have been better, but oh well. And of course, same thing as the last room, and just match up the corresponding cubes with their colors and whatnot. Most of them, most of the cubes, actually three of the cubes are going to be at ground level. If I ever drop this cube, come on, go. Oh well, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, um, sometimes. What you have to do is you have to get the cubes relatively close enough to where you, the game will automatically slot them in. Like that. But, oh well. <laughs> now, there is one cube in which you will have to actually, well, get to those... Um, you have to use a spring to actually get to. I thought I could use the Pico Pico Hammer to navigate give myself an extra boost to jump up there, but I couldn't. I think you're able to do that, but I don't remember for sure. Um, just get up to these ra upper rafters right here, and be careful not to fall off, and navigate over to the final cube, which is right over there. Not too bad so far. I mean, just grab the cubes, drop back down, and... I'll match them up with the, with the corresponding slot, and you're good to go. I should have done a practice run of Sonic Adventure. I really should have, but I didn't. 
And it's mostly due to the fact that I didn't feel like doing practice runs because I would just have to erase the file and re-record it all over again. So I didn't do it. If I would have done it, I would have been able to get used to the controls a lot more. Or get re get used to the controls again. And this could have gone a lot smoother. And maybe I could have used my... Um, to get better um, gameplay, I probably should have used my um, wired GameCube controller instead of the wireless one, but to each their own, live and learn, not much I can do, it's already recorded. And now we're going to get into some more plot. this place? You are in the land of Oz. Not really. <laughs> anyway, um, you can explore all you want in this area, and I actually do so because I thought that I would have to meet up with Takal on the other side of the pyramid. And it turns out I was absolutely wrong. <laughs> yeah, um, the game doesn't tell you this, but um, there is a cave at there's a cave that will lead you to the shrine of the Master Emerald. And <laughs> I wish it would have told me that, but it did not. Oh boy, sometimes the game just doesn't tell you something that you need to know. Not much you can do about it, just have to go with it. Anyway, what you want to do is go run over here and get to that doorway. Once you get to that doorway, it will take you to the Shrine of the Master Emerald. And that is where we're going to encounter to call and advance the plot some more. So... Get ready because here comes to call. You're the cow. Don't be afraid, you're safe with me. was that? I wonder if I'm dreaming. Oh my! I need to get out of this place! And how are you going to get off the egg carrier, Amy? Do you think the Flicky will actually be able to fly you off the egg carrier? Where do you think you're going, Amy? You can't get away this easily! Sonic, help! Too late, buddy! I don't need you when I've got this. 
Jemma! At your service, sir. Dispose of these annoying pests! Give them all you got! Aye, aye, sir. We'll comply. I've got better things to do! I'll let him go then. The A carrier's losing altitude. We're fresh out of time. Take Amy and clear out fast. What about you? I'll nail that Eggman. Can't let him escape. going to do that just yet. There's actually an optional thing that there's, there's an optional item that you can get on board the egg carrier. And if you want to get it before you get to the last boss of 
Amy Rose's playthrough, you just need to get back to the Falling Egg Carrier, which we, is something we haven't done yet. However, don't do that, because you can actually die. <laughs> yes, you can die in Adventure Fields. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Not really. That sucks, actually. Um, so yeah, that's the second time I've died in Amy Rose's playthrough. Let's see if we do it right this time. I think we might be able to. Yep, we did it. Now we're heading to the Fallen Egg Carrier. And we're not going to cover it in this part. We're going to cover it in part 17. So, if you like the video, please feel free to like the video on YouTube. If you like my channel and all the videos I have on it, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, any what, anything that I can, you know use to actually get better at LPing, please leave your comments. I will read them and I'll respond to you as soon as possible. So until part 17, take care everybody and ciao for now.